Hey guys, welcome back to the Decon Detailing YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean leather seats like professional. This is a uh, ivory white uh, leather seat that Mazda produces, um, so it's really hard to uh, keep clean because it's it's white and about every little bit of dirt and grime uh, shows on this leather. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to detail this at, like a professional. So today's product we're going to use is our uh, leather cleaner. This is the Coach Kemi Polestar. Uh, this is a dedicated pH neutral leather cleaner. Uh, it can also be used on Alcantara and textiles. So what we're going to do is show you how to, how to uh, clean the leather using this. Uh, we have our Color Lock uh, leather brush. This is a small leather brush with uh, Versal's design specifically to clean leather. Um, and we're also are going to use our uh, trusty Detail Factory Ultra Soft Bristle Brush uh, to detail this leather seat. All right, so once again, we're going to begin with our Pull Star by Coach Kemi. Uh, this is our pH neutral leather cleaner. So what I like to do is just spray on the surface, allow it to uh, allow it some time to dwell, and start breaking up the dirt. I like to use a lot of this product because it's fairly cheap and expensive. Let that sit, <laughs> and then what I'll do is I'll take our Color Lock uh, leather brush. Spray some additional cleaner in here and just begin to agitate the surface with circular motions. Now you really want to make sure that you get into these seams of this leather, uh, the stitching, because uh, this is where a lot of the dirt can uh, go into the crack and kind of get trapped in that, in that stitching. So you want to make sure that you really scrub out that stitching, um, not too aggressively, but just enough to bring out the dirt um, and effectively clean that, that leather. Now another reason to uh, really focus on these cracks is because there, if there's any dirt that gets trapped in there, over time from you sitting in it, um, those little particles of dirt are going to act as a very fine abrasive um, and it's going to start eating its way through this, uh, this stitching and can eventually lead to uh, holes and tears in your nice leather seats. Um, so in order to preserve the life of your leather, um, you really want to clean your seats um, at least every month just to make sure that you're getting out. Uh, the dirt that's getting trapped in these cracks from you sitting it uh, re repeatedly. All right, now that we've scrubbed the leather uh, thoroughly, we're going to use our microfiber towel. This is a uh, Eagle Edgeless 365 Terry Weave towel from the Rag Company, um, and we're going to uh, wipe up the the residue uh, from the Polestar cleaner and dry off the leather seat. All right, now with the seat dry, um, you can either uh, go straight into applying your favorite uh, leather protector, um, or if you really know some, uh, if you know some additional spots that you missed, you can go back in, re-scrub those areas. Um, traditionally, I would only use this leather detail brush um, if I was working on a leather seat that was uh, moderately dirty. Um, if there's, if you're just a, uh, if you're, if you are maintenancing. Uh, and cleaning your leather seats on a, on a constant basis, 
Um, you can use your detail factory brush to just spray the cleaner on um, and lightly agitate with this brush just to get up the the surface dirt. Because um, if you're if you're maintaining it on a, on a constant basis, there's not going to be that much buildup, and this is going to be a lot less abrasive to the surface uh, than this brush is going to be. So I'll demonstrate what you're going to do with the detail factory brush versus this uh, this leather cleaning brush. So once again, we're just going to spray our cleaner on. Spray a little bit into our detail factory brush. And then similar to using the leather brush, we're just going to work in circular motions, uh, building up a nice lather on the seats. Now what I really like about this Polestar is how much it, it forms a good lather. This is going to serve two purposes. So that foam is going to trap the dirt and bring it to the surface. That way you can easily wipe it up and it's not going to sit back into the, into the fibers of the leather. All right, now with that properly agitated, uh, similar to our last technique, we're just gonna take our microfiber towel and wipe off the excess. All right, now with the leather properly cleaned, we're gonna apply our, our favorite leather conditioner. Uh, so what we're gonna be using is Leather Star by Coach Kemi. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just shake up the bottle. Now the directions do say to apply this to a, a clean uh, microfiber applicator. Um, I don't have any with me so I'm just going to use this towel. So what I'll do is just apply a little of the product to the towel. Let it soak in and I'm just going to apply it to the surface. Now what this is going to do is uh, replenish the moisture in the leather, uh, or give it that supple feel back. Running a little dry, so I'm just going to put some more on, put it on the top. Now the directions do say to apply it to the surface and don't immediately buff it off. Allow it to soak in for a little bit and then wipe off the excess. So that's what we're going to do. Now I will say, um, unlike traditional leather cleaners, uh, this one doesn't give you a leather smell. Um, this more this has more of a clean, um, more of a, I don't even know what they call this, a, almost reminds me of a solvent, but it, it, at least clean, it smells fresh. Um, probably not my favorite smelling leather cleaner. I, I think I do enjoy the leather scented uh, leather conditioners, but um, this is just an amazing product by Coach Kemi and uh, they haven't let me down yet, so we're gonna continue to use this. All right, now that we've given it a couple minutes to allow it to soak into the surface, we're just gonna wipe off the excess. So we're just going to take that clean side to our microfiber towel and basically just level off the surface. Now what people don't know about leather seats is this isn't a true pure cowhide uh, leather. So this is a leather material. Now it is probably real. However, what happens is they, at the factory, they uh, put a plastic or a, a sort of clear coat on top of this um, to keep it protected. That way it lasts a little bit longer than your traditional leather. All right, 
And that will complete our leather cleaning of this seat and the proper conditioning of this seat. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, once again today we used the Polestar by Coach Kemi as our leather cleaner. Uh, and then we followed up with Leather Star as our conditioning product. Um, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. And have a great day.